doesn't seem like it's going away. And Andrew, who, you know, he, he loves this stuff. He broke off the Astros against off-speed pitches in 2017. And I think that's where the value of sign stealing comes because when you see a guy that could spit on an off-speed pitch or sit on one, either way, you know that they're getting those signs. The batting average against off-speed pitches in 2017 was 254, best in the majors. Their OPS, 715, best in the majors. Strikeouts, 567, best in the majors. Swing and miss percentage, 28% best in the majors. Now, you can make the argument, I'm sure the Astros, oh, we have a great team. Not that great. Not that great. Now, the owners' meetings are going on right now, and, and the reason why this becomes a topic again, there's a lot of tension. So Jim Crane was sitting at the hotel in the owners' meetings and had two police officers standing next to him and would not let anybody from... Any news gathering organization, ESPN, writers, whatever, no, no one could go near him. Then when he's walking through the lobby, he says to the reporters who descend upon him, if you want to talk about baseball, I'll talk about baseball. I'm not going to talk about anything else. Well, what do you think we're talking about? Bagging groceries? This is baseball. What, what happened with the cheating is baseball. Yes. So I'm allowed to ask you about that. So then it looked like he was annoyed. And if you've ever seen Jim Crane, you don't want to mess with Jim Crane. No. Behind his eyes, you don't want to mess with Jim Crane. I would not mess with Jim Crane. Well, give me an example. I can't. Uh, it's just a feel. I, I can, can just... think of one I don't think you want to go public with it, but is, is, we're, we're thinking along the same lines. No, I don't know what you're talking about. There's somebody that you believe that I always say that I could beat up, and you say, no, no, oh, no. Yeah. No, this is worse. Worse? This is worse. Mm. Yeah. So he's crazy. Like, no, I, I'm not, no, I'm not even saying he's crazy. There's something there that is like a take-no-prisoners thing, and you can see how successful he was in business. Don't mess with this dude. So when it looked like he was not, didn't want to be bothered, all of a sudden the police officers reappeared and ushered him up the steps to a meeting of the owners. Well, yesterday Rob Manfred did talk. And for those that want the Astros punished badly, I will tell you this. He certainly gave you reason to think that that's going to be, uh, going to be happening. Here is Manfred saying this isn't the first time. Uh, that they've they've looked into this. We have over time monitored uh, various rumors that you hear throughout the industry. Made preliminary investigations. Tried to satisfy ourselves that, that we knew exactly what's going on, but certainly not with with the depth and detail that came out in the article. So, what's the timeline, Rob? I mean, I don't have a firm timeline. I think that it's really important that we be as thorough as possible to make sure we know. Everything that went on to the extent that that's possible, and I certainly would hope that we would be done before we start playing baseball. Uh, he's taking these allegations seriously. Any um, allegation that relates to a rule violation that could affect the outcome of a game or games is the most serious matter. Um, it relates to the integrity of the sport. In terms of where we are, we have a very active, um, what is going to be a really really thorough investigation um, ongoing but um, beyond that I can't tell you how close we are to done and finally he isn't going to speculate on um, when the investigation will be done I'm not going to speculate on what the appropriate discipline is that depends on you know how the facts are established at the end of the investigation the general warning that I issued to the clubs I stand by I mean it certainly could be all those things but my authority under the major League Constitution would be broader to, than those things as well. I have no reason to believe that it ex expand, extends beyond the Astros at this point in time. Well, let's put it this way. He can't speculate. We can. So what is the proper punishment if, in fact, they did these things? So, you know, I was listening to Bob with shoes and driving, and he was filling in for Stephen A., and, and you know, he, he, he brought up the Patriots, Don and Peter, right. where he said that the penalties against the Patriots and their two, two uh, cheating scandals didn't do enough. No. Um, the first one was like $750,000 to the owner and Belichick, and then a first-round draft pick. And then there was more money with Deflategate, the suspension of Brady, and then a first-round draft pick. It hasn't even been a speed bump to the greatness of the Patriots. It has not been a speed bump. So you could take the, uh, the tack and say, well, they don't need to cheat to win, or they're just finding a different way to cheat because the penalties were not scary enough for them to just stop and go clean. 
So what is the penalty that would stop other owners in the tracks? I've thought about this a lot. I don't think there's an easy answer. Answer. I don't know why that came out that way, but that'll be a drop. <laughs> wow. I just, I, th I, I read somewhere yesterday that when a team wins the World Series, you can pretty much calculate $70 million in profit. Okay. $50 million, $50 million fine to Crane. Really make it hurt him. Because a million dollars to an owner whose, whose franchise is worth 2 to $3 billion, they laugh at that. That would be like if Don got fined 100 bucks. A million dollars is laughable. $50 million? I'm sure that even Jeff Bezos would feel $50 million. I do well. So I think you have to start there. Okay. And this is where it gets really, really dicey. Yes. I think if, if Hinch is aware of this and signing off on it and Lunau, they've got to be suspended for at least a year. I agree. I, I'm, I'm a little bit scared to say they can never be in baseball again. No, but a year I think is fair. But I just don't know what to do with players. It's hard to discipline players because they are going to, in fact, have the Players Association at their disposal. And a, according to the collective bargaining agreement, you can't just suspend people willy-nilly. Willy now, here's the part that does scare me, though. If you're going to bang Hinch, <laughs> then you're going to have to bang Cora and Beltran. You just are. Wait, and why? Because Cora was his bench coach. <laughs> but Beltran was, Beltran, Beltran, Beltran was a player. Beltran was his player. But the, the, the sources that are talking to the athletic are saying that those are the two masterminds behind the plan. I guess if it's a full-on mastermind. Right. Yeah, I mean, if, they, if you find out that this thing exists solely because of those three individuals... Hinch, Cora, Beltran. Then I guess they, they should get the harshest of, of penalties and they should be suspended a year. I don't right. think there's an easy answer. Now, the players, are you as wrong as the mastermind that you knew this was happening and said, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go, go to the league it's and tell hard. them that my own teammates are cheating? Do I, should I go and tell my uh, guys, listen, uh, this is cheating. I don't, don't give me the information. I don't want to know about it. But you know, Bang the drum out in the crowd all you want. I'm not going to pay attention to it. I mean, how are you going to be able to determine that? I don't know. Right? I mean, you, now you can go to the Kennesaw Mountain Landis theory on the Black Sox scandal 100 years ago where he suspended the eight players, not suspended, kicked them out of the game. Forever. And said that, and, and, and just outlined that anybody that participates or anybody that knew about it and didn't say something about it, didn't alert their club about it, Never plays in baseball again. So does he want to be that broad and say, listen, anybody that participated in this, in any level, I'm sorry, it's cheating. You're going to have to get discipline. They all get a year. And it's, that's where it gets a little dicey for me. Now, the thing that I laughed off when we talked about it, Peter and Don brought it up as well, I think I've come back to the side of you should do it. If they're found guilty of this, then their championship should be taken away. I know that's just a nominal thing, but it's an embarrassment to the franchise. They can never right. call themselves 2017 world champions. Doesn't mean that you give it to the Dodgers. Doesn't mean that they say the no, Yankees no, no, actually... No, no. no, the Astros can no longer be a champion in their media guide, in all the record books in baseball. You take that away. Because they got it with ill-gotten games. Yeah, you, you have to. It has right? to be gone now. They're, they're, you, you just can't count. I was the same way with you because in college it just seemed to be silly, but I, I, I don't see any other way around this. I mean, what do you I mean, do? You cheated. What do you do with the MVP for Altuve? You know, because we're not I, talking. I you got to replay the whole year. It's the only thing you can do. You start at the beginning. What if you play it out on a video game from the very beginning? I mean, is or, that or Stratomatic? Yeah. Well, listen, maybe, maybe maybe that's the punishment. I mean, do you do you sit there and go, listen, the, since we can't really suspend the players because we just don't know the level of which they were involved or how much they were involved, but clearly they, they knew what was going on, may, you vacate 2017 in every way, shape, or form, meaning a, any awards that were won, like the MVP, stripped from Altuve. Yeah, but you didn't take the MVPs away from Bonds and the Cy Youngs away from Clemens. All right, so does that mean because of the mistakes oh, so of the past? That's those, a different commissioner. But those are baseball writers' awards. You can't. The commissioner right. can't tell the baseball writers to take their awards back. Okay, then maybe what we can, maybe you can do is whatever monetary gain those awards got. Like, did, did Altuve get a bonus because he won the MVP? Then that's his fine. Would you want it then? Would you want the fine to be their salary? Meaning, whatever you made wow. in 2017, you now have to forfeit. 
I mean, this is the last thing that Rob Manfred wants. Now, on the Player court. Association may not allow that to happen, right? Because you already have like how much you can, you know, find somebody and suspend somebody. So this is not collectively bargained. So I'm not even sure they'd be able to get away with anything. Now, now let me throw this at you, because I thought about this a lot as well. Is this worse than PDs, or is PDs worse no, than this? No, this is this is worse, Michael, because it. it, it <laughs> Even though we all believe that everybody was doing it, this has to be more wide-ranging than the PEDs. And I mean, this if is I also have, institutional. This is a team that did it, if including I have, management. If I have two or three people that are PED guys, should my should it be vacated? My title be vacated? But if if I had something that was designed by the team and they benefited from it all year long, and all the offensive players did it, knew it, didn't say anything about it. Isn't it worse? I, I've got to ask David Cohn this. Uh, either we'll have him on the show at some point about it, or I'll just, um, I'll just text him or call him and ask him, would you rather face a guy who's roided up to the gills at the plate, doesn't know what you're throwing, or would you rather face a guy who has no roids in his system at all and knows well, exactly what you're throwing. I think he'd rather face the roid guy. Well, because I could still strike him out, right? Yeah. I could still fool him and strike him out. But if he knows what's coming. So it, you can say that that's almost worse. It's bad. I they're, mean, it's they're really all bad. bad. They're all bad. I don't think anybody gets a pass on this. They're all bad. Now, well, how about the ultimate death penalty for Crane? Do you pull a Donald Sterling on and say you have to sell the team? Now... He, he, he would have the shame of having to sell a team, but he'd make an incredible profit. He bought it for $700 million. He probably could sell it for $3 billion right now. Okay, slap on the hand, but he doesn't have the Astros anymore. Would you even think about I mean, that? Uh, I mean, if you give him a $50 million fine, that should be enough. And then you say that if anything like this ever happens again, you're forced to sell the team. It is a first offense. Yeah, right? but they've, they've been rumored to be doing this. I mean, they are they are an no, I, organization that is loathed okay. by other teams. Bad job by Major League Baseball to wait this long to finally do it. And the only reason they're doing it, I give the athletic credit. If this if this comes down, the athletic gets total credit. They're the ones who broke this. They're the ones who got Mike right. Fires to go on the record and say it. But it still would be a first time offense. So should he be allowed that second chance like everyone else? Where and if you gotta sell the team, fifty million dollar fine, and if you do it again, you're out. I, I think I'd be happy. I think you lay it down this way. Fifty million dollar fine for the owner. Manager, general manager, suspended a year. And then you figure out what you can get away with with the Players Association. But if you could, players had to forfeit their salary in 2017. Well, it's, I don't think you could. That one's going to be the hardest to do because of the union. But think about this. George Steinbrenner got suspended from baseball for life. Right. Now, he ended up getting back two years later. But suspended for life. He signed away. He still owned the team. But he had no control over it, supposedly, right? And he paid somebody to get dirt on his player. Now, in terms of baseball, to yeah. me, this is way worse. So would you want to suspend him for life with a chance to, uh, to for reinstatement in two years, five years? Could you do that? Where he doesn't sell the team. He just, he doesn't, he's just banned from baseball, right? George still owned the team, right? Yep. He just couldn't be around the ballpark. Would that, would that do anything to Crane? Would it kill him to not be able to go to the know. ballpark, not be know. able to be associated with a team and other than the cash checks? Now, I said it kind of cryptically about, you know, Crane. Uh, I think I've told the story. If not, uh, I'm glad I'm telling it again. And if I have told it, then I apologize. Um, David Cohn and I were doing a series against the Astros, Yankees-Astros at Yankee Stadium. And this is when the Astros were tanking, and they were bad. Those four years where they, were, they, they had the lowest payroll, they broke everything down to get high draft picks, keep the payroll low. And we made some comments about the process. And the next day, this is at Yankee Stadium, where he has no power at all, what, you know, whatever you'd like to say. He walks into our booth before a game, with a list of items, he, and he had his, his PR guy with him, and started telling the two of us what we got wrong. I mean, talk about cuñones. Yeah, yeah, I think cojones is the word. It, it's amazing. Yeah. Talk about chutzpah, right? Is that what we said yesterday? I think it was... Ch uh, chutzpah. Chutzpah. Ch chutzpah. No, chutzpah. I mean, think about the, the, the cubes on this guy. And, and he's talking to David Cohn, who won a Cy Young Award, and has five World Series rings. And we were like, kind of, we we're being polite and respectful. You know, he's an owner of a team. We said, okay, thanks. And like, 
Even the next day, he was going, well, you didn't quite, well, sorry, we're not doing the broadcast for you, Mr. Crane. But that's who, that's who Jim Crane is. He's a control guy. Well, that then it would probably, probably would bother him if he had to be away from baseball for any length of time. I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They have to lean on the side of too rough rather than too lenient. They cannot allow this to happen again. They, and anybody doing it is going to have to immediately stop. So the Patriot penalty, where the organization gets fined five hundred thousand dollars, or those where well, the Patriots are fined two fifty, Belichick was fined five hundred, and they lost like a first round pick, but it was like lottery protected, right? It was like a first round pick, but if they if they missed the playoffs, it became a second round pick. Right. You, you got it's got to be tougher than that, Michael. It's got to be because I think this is worse. You you've got to hand down a penalty. That every person that's kind of like straddling that line, cheating a gamesmanship, that they get scared straight. Where an owner will say, he'll go down to his GM and his manager and say, listen, I'm not paying $50 million for your shenanigans. You win the right way. That will stop it dead. If you hand down a penalty that is so severe that you scare the other team straight, then that's mission accomplished. I don't know if the NFL did that with the Patriots. They certainly didn't do it with the Patriots to the point that the Patriots wouldn't do it again. But there's a lot of things involved there where the NFL probably didn't have a lot of motivation to completely destroy the Patriots because there were allegations that everybody in the league was doing this. The Patriots just got caught. You heard Manfred say he has every reason to believe this is the only team doing it, that this is, this is just an Astro situation. So doesn't that make it? Where the MLB doesn't have to protect itself from exposing other teams or making it look like there's multiple World Series there in question here. If this is just a one-time Astro thing, then you really got to pulverize them. You have no choice. Yeah. It, it, there's a lot on Manfred's plate right now. Remember one thing. When you're disciplining an owner, this is why this is such an odd thing. If people talk about it with Goodell and with Silver, you're disciplining one of your bosses. He's not an employee of, of Rob Manfred. Rob Manfred is an employee of the 30 owners in baseball. Jim Crane's one of his, one of his bosses. So he's going to have yeah, to have the support of the other owners, too. That's, see, that's the thing. The 29 other owners are saying, you got to do something to this guy. Right. So and I don't think that this guy has a lot of allies because no. he's not that low. And that's why I say that's the difference between this and the Patriots, because Robert Kraft and the Patriots have a lot of sway around the NFL. They've got a huge fan base because of all the championships they won. Michael, where are the complaints going to come outside of, the, of Houston proper? We, if we do this, are we going to get a, a litany of phone calls from people saying, I'm a longtime Astro fan. This is ridiculous. No. That's, not, that's not a thing. Let's hear from you. 1-800-919.